Crafts and TRS. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And as you can tell by the title, we are going to... Let me restart that. Okay. Hi, my Crafts and TRS. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And as you can tell by the title, we are going to be doing like a slash mukbang, but kind of giving y'all an update on my life and what's been going on and how my Christmas went. As you can tell by the title, we are also talking about my house almost burning down. Literally. Literally. Okay? So, today, I have 30 different little Japanese candies in the bag. So, so I hope you guys are excited to see them as much as I am. I had these close to about a week now. And um, due to the fact of me being sick and some other stuff that we'll definitely get into. Um, yeah, here it is. So what we're going to do, we're going to open the bag. This is my first time seeing everything that's in there just as well as everyone else. So, so I'm going to be pulling out little goodies and stuff like that. Um, matter of fact, let's kind of warm on bed. Oh, goodies, goodies, goodies. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let y'all see all the goodies, all the goodies, goodies, goodies. So, these are some, you know, let's try to, let's try to fit them all in one hand. Okay. So, Okay, so you guys, so we have tons and tons of stuff to try. Um, all right, so I'm gonna get a quick picture for you guys. I want y'all to be able to see all the little goodies and stuff before I actually grab them to them, and you guys will be able to see it on the top left or right. <laughs> so. Tons and tons of goodies, tons and tons of little goodies, tons and tons of them, and we are going to try them. All right. So, this is the bag that came in. I will, so, before we get into the video, for the candy, I will be putting the description in the bottom for the candy in case you guys would like to try any of the candies, any of the goodies, or anything along the lines of that. If we aren't able to get through all the candy today, then we will be doing a part two. So, uh, without further ado, make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe. And make sure that you guys do hit that bell for post notifications to make sure that you are getting videos from me. All right. So let's go ahead and get into like our crazy, crazy experience coming into the new year. So first I would like to start off by saying like I am very much blessed. Okay, very much blessed. <laughs> um, the first thing um, I'm going to be trying while I'm talking to you guys is fried potatoes. Fried potatoes. Um, but so let's start off with my breast so i ended up getting a breast infection sadly and i will be showing you guys a video up here of where when they did have to go into my breast they ended up having to cut into it and kind of in you know they had to make an incision into it and they had to Pus, like they had to push the pus and the blood out so it is a little graphic so you know before you even like see it make sure you know you are warned okay also let's see how this is okay these fried potatoes are there Um, this shit is busted right here. <laughs> Baby, honey. Whatever means good in Chinese, 
Yeah, these things just bust them. Or whatever means bust them. So, as I was telling you guys, we ended up having to go to the hospital. So, this live right here consists of me going to the hospital. And I was there for five hours, you guys. I was there for five hours. Y'all know COVID has been very crazy lately. And it's really been pushing back a lot of things. So, I ended up having to wait there for a good, good, good minute. But I ended up getting seen. So, um, after I had got seen, my breast was to the point of it had enlarged. It was so swollen to the point of where it looked like it was about to bust and explode. And I also will be showing y'all pictures of that as well. So, um, lately, you know, an update on my breast and my breast infection, everything is going good with it. It's, the healing process is absolutely phenomenal. Like, it's so pretty. It looks much, much better than what it did. And now all we are doing is waiting for the discoloration. So the discoloration is what we're going to be worried about the most. Um, you know, making sure that we get it right back at that color that we need, okay? So, other than that, for my breasts, everything is good with that. And I hope these aren't too bad and don't be scared to get your breasts done or to get piercings. I do think one of the big questions that everyone was asking me, how, why do you think it what why do you think it got infected or why or what may have got it infected? And I do think it was due to my nipple ring, but I do not want anyone to be scared to get a nipple ring just because of that. You know, just take care of yourself. Make sure you're washing it, cleaning it very good. And it's not to say I wasn't cleaning it good. It's just things happen. So. So these, I'm not quite sure what these are. I guess it's like I don't know how to I don't know how to decipher the taste. It's not bad though. It's kind of plain Jane. I will say it is kind of plain Jane. So now let's get into, um, so we're about to try these right here. These are like some little candies. Um, so now let's get into the <laughs> reason the house almost caught on fire. And so we are going to be showing some videos of that as well um, while I am talking. So... Okay, so these right here, I don't know if y'all ever tasted um y'all remember the, the sweet tart bands that we used to wear around our thing or it used to be like the little candy candy bracelets. These is exactly how this tastes. It tastes good. These actually taste good. I like these. And if I was rating everything so far, you know, the first thing would definitely be uh, around an A. Just as well as the other um, item that's like kind of like a chip. That's kind of like, those are eights in my opinion. They kind of all taste the same. This, I will give it a 10 for being just like, you know, some some of my children's candy. Like, some of my childhood candy. So, anyways. It was Christmas Day, you guys. And 
we ended up getting a lot of a lot of trash because due to the fact of like you know cooking and everyone coming over we ended up getting to the point where we ended up having a lot of trash my mother ended up going to the back where we've been burning trash in this pile for more than probably 20 plus years you know what i'm saying and never had this altercation happen so after this altercation happens she's out she's outside she burns the trash and she comes in for a little bit so then she goes back outside you know after a little bit to go check on the trash and then we get a call we get a call from one of our cousins one of our family members basically stating that now even though that she had just like previously checked it now it must have been some type of gust or wind or something Next thing you know, what they were calling us and saying, like, y'all might need to go outside because it looks like it might have got out of hand. And, you know, we're all like, okay, so, you know, we're not thinking it's out of hand like it is. So, as soon as we get to the back door, back door of the kitchen, it's fire everywhere. Everywhere. When I tell you it's fire everywhere, it's fire on the grass. It's a big-ass field. It's going towards or a big ass gas tank and we ended I ended up having to like throw this big bucket of water on the gas tank where the fire was going around it and stuff so when I tell you it was definitely a traumatic experience it was definitely a traumatic experience like because everything was like you know flashing before my eyes it was more so like damn like we're really about to be even in a more worse predicament than we are you know everyone that has been following me for a while they already know I don't my living situation isn't the best, but it damn sure isn't the worst. So, luckily, when the fire did start, it got to the shed before the house. So, the shed is the thing that ended up burning up. And I wanted to clarify that because I did end up going on Facebook Live. And people, people misunderstood the whole entire thing. And... It was more so because I was just going through something traumatic. It was something that usually I'm a person who vents on Facebook. So it's not about, it wasn't about the money or people sending me money or anything along the lines of that. It was more so just to kind of give everybody like an update of like what the fuck is really going on. Like, you know, out of all days, we're outside fighting fire. We're outside fighting fire. So, I'm going to show you the video of, like, the shed being on fire. And, luckily, the firefighter people came. We, they were there. They got there in time because it started burning the side of the house, which I'll also show y'all that as well. A picture of that as well. And, for us to already have, like, a wooden house, y'all put two and two together. I was worried. Like, it was, it was going on while i was on live and it was too it got to the point of like it was too big for us to do anything about it so thank god they got there so after you know they then did all they did we finally went back in of course after the house almost burnt down um and that was just that's really it you guys i mean it was really like it was a crazy experience because everything was going on so fast everything had happened so fast but more of the story is that we did end up having a good day thank god that the house did not burn down we are still here and then on top of that we ended up eating family still came over and i think it was something that really brought everybody together we're not really like um i wouldn't say we're like a family oriented family so, it was something that actually brought us together that day. You know, it's crazy how things work. So, that's just kind of what had happened that day where all the fire and stuff was going on. So, once y'all see the videos or if y'all have already looked at the videos. My bad. My phone's like, oop. So, if y'all have already seen the videos or have not seen the videos, you know. Y'all are more than welcome to also go to the Facebook page as well when things were going on. And then I'm also going to post the videos on here and let y'all see them again. So, other than that, thank God everything is good with that. 
my breast infection is good. Everything is good with that, you guys. It's really been a real roller coaster. It's really been a crazy roller coaster. Because besides all this happening, y'all know I am an emotional wreck all the time. So, before I get into that, let's try some other little things. Okay, so, we're going to be trying these. So, but yes, y'all know I'm an emotional wreck. So, I, it was some time during these events happening and, you know, through the course of everything happening of November to December, things have been crazy. I really have, you know, had my problems with, I guess, being in my feelings and being out of them. And due to the fact of, like, being off of my hormones for two months, due to a mistake of the doctors was very upsetting. I think that kind of put me off balance and I was very, 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 very emotional. So it was like I was crying about everything. I hated it. But we did get everything straightened out with that as well with my hormones. Everything's good with the hormones and all that now. So I don't have to worry about that. And, um, the problem was, some reason, they had alternate, altered it by giving me four months of them paying for the medicine. And then, after the four months, they wanted me to pay for the, um, and not the medicine, the syringes, the needles to actually stick me. So, after all that, we ended up putting that straightened out. Everything was good with that. Don't no longer have any problems with getting the syringes or having to come out of pocket for them. But yes, it definitely was a very emotional time. So other than that, going into the new year, I just want to let y'all know some goals and some motivations that I have for myself and some accomplishments that I do want to accomplish. But first, before we get into that, I'm gonna give this one an eight too, you guys. This is like this is like some simple candy. It's sweet. It's like some sweet candy. Um, if anything, it gives me pop rocks without the rocks. I mean, without the pop. <laughs> without the pop. Obviously, the rocks are in the bag. But yeah, that's what it's kind. Of, that's what that kind of tastes like. Pop rocks. So that's good. So let's talk about some, um, and I hope I didn't go too fast for you guys. You know, this is just a little update to kind of give y'all a look into like my life. Y'all know I do this segment of my transparent life anyway, so I do want to keep you guys updated as much as I can. So besides all that happening, some goals that I do have for this year is I want to, you know, love myself a little bit more. I recently, and I know it might sound crazy to a lot of people, but I recently just started to really think of myself being pretty or beautiful or anything along the lines of that at, at the extent of it now. Like, I really think I'm growing up to be a very beautiful woman. Besides that, though, like... um. I, I'm going to love myself a lot more. So that's one. Learn how to love myself a lot more. And um, before I finish, we're going to try this. This is their little beef stick. So, um, <clears throat> so I do want to love myself a lot more. I do want to be more active. And when I say be more active, everything consistent, consistently done will always work out and i believe in that i'm a firm believer so one big thing about me is working on my consistency and then also kind of sitting down and talking to you guys a little bit more i know that we do have a lot of educational stuff but i also want to get out my comfort zone and kind of give you guys a different side of me you know maybe the funny side again and maybe like you know the little silly side and then also perhaps some dances I'm 
gonna give this a 9.5. Well, you know what? I give it a 9.5 because it seems like it tastes kind of like ours, but the 0.5 is it's missing something. Just it's missing, it's missing one thing. One thing. I can't think of that, but it's missing one thing. And it might be a tangier taste. Maybe that might be it. But this is something similar similar to what we call Slim Jim's original Slim Jim or beef stick. That's actually good. So, besides all of that, um, try some other. Okay. I don't know what I want to try. Some of these is basically like, you know, the tips and stuff is basically probably going to taste the same. So. Okay, this is like little, these are like little ramen noodles right here. Okay. So what we're going to do first, we're going to try this one. And, um, but yes, that's also, that's also something I definitely do want to accomplish in the new year mm, is being more active and being more consistent with you guys and making sure that I can step out of my comfort zone and do some more things that, you know, I usually don't do. So make sure y'all definitely follow my TikTok because that's also one of the big platforms, you know, where a lot of people do different little things and TikTok really helps you do those different things. Like it's lots of skits, it's lots of um, dances. So anything along the lines of that, you know, I'm, you know, try something a little different for you guys. But also, y'all know, I definitely do want to be the next big um, infectious disease and trans advocate. So that is also something I will be working on in the new year. Is spreading the awareness of HIV and also transgender people. Like, okay. And hopefully I start to really get into like some campaigns and stuff, you know? Start doing some stuff that I can do for the community. And it's not that I need any recognition. It's not that I need anybody to see it. But sometimes it's good to know that we have people with us. Like, everyone's not against us. We actually have people in our community that loves us dearly. And I'm one of those people, irregardless of, you know, any or any or any altercation or any good or bad thing that comes with it, with the person, I'm usually still able to be very kind hearted to a person that has did me very dirty. I ain't missing out on my blessings, okay? Just because they want to be ignorant. But. Okay, this chocolate. It's not that the chocolate tastes bad, but. I think I'm going to have to get that like a six. Roughly like a six. So. But yes, and if you guys ever, you know, need to talk about anything, you guys know that I am here for you. Okay? So anytime you guys need to talk or, you know, y'all are going through some hard times yourself, I am here because, you know, sometimes we all need somebody here for us. And as we, you know, go into the new year, I'm going to have a lot more videos and different things for you guys as in traveling, doing some vlogs. And I hope you guys all subscribe to my vlog channel. I'm going to have some vlogs for you guys. 
and it's going to be on the personal blog channel where I'll start doing vlogs even when I go to my doctor's appointments just to keep y'all updated on my health and you know my health condition and then if we go out of town or we go on vacation or anything along the lines of that you know you guys will be able to see that and everything will be in the description below and my second YouTube will be in the description below so don't worry so now let's let's try some um let's keep trying like some little candies and stuff and that's really like my update for you guys i really hope y'all enjoyed it i hope you guys are enjoying like you know me eating the candy <laughs> even though you guys aren't able to taste it with me but um this is something else we ended up getting so this looks like gum this looks like gum they ended up giving us a little toothpick like a seven seven and a half these are pretty good they're little they're little chewy gummies they're pretty good oh. okay it, a, it looks like it's like a little marshmallow right in here And we got some mini Coca-Cola, mini Coca-Cola things. So this is like a mini Coca-Cola thing. This is like a marshmallow. It has this, it has Winnie the Pooh and stuff on it. even know that's what that little thing meant up there it's like a little symbol up there it's letting you know that it's something in the marshmallow can y'all see that can y'all see that But what? Strawberry filling. That's why I said strawberry on there. I didn't like the filling, but as for the um I was about to say the mushroom, the marshmallow, it was good. Tasted just like a marshmallow. <laughs> of course. So let's try to open this Coca-Cola. Y'all know I just showed y'all this Coca-Cola. And I'm going to try a little, um, probably a couple of more of these, you guys. But some of these are mostly the same. Like, we got a lot of these little things. So I'll try one of these for you guys. Um, this is, um, okay, just like a, um, a bottle cap. A so not bottle cap, but it's like, um, those little soda things that we used to. Um, eat. Well, I used to eat them. I don't know about y'all. Let's try some of. Let's try some of these. These look like them chopsticks. Those look like chopsticks. And oh, okay. we got some little berries. What else is this? This is okay. These little things right here. We're gonna try. We're gonna taste test all the other stuff. I think this is like a piece of gum. But this has, um, crazy part about it, this has Pikachu on it. It has like a little Pikachu. Pikachu, Pikachu, Pikachu. 
All right. Yes, that's just a little update on my life, you guys. So I hope you guys definitely enjoyed the video. And um, if you guys would like to see more videos like this, definitely get at me, okay? Let me know. Put some in the comments. Put some ideas in the comments that you guys would like to see or some stuff that you guys would like me to order or some things that you would like me to eat and, you know, talk about. So let's see how these are. If not ten, very close to it. I think we're gonna get these a ten. I like these. I like these little things, and they come they come small, y'all. If y'all can see in the hole, they come small. This isn't bad. Ew. Okay, so the next thing we're going to try I knew it This definitely has to be similar to that chalk that we used to have if y'all know what I'm talking about, the chalk. Yeah. Okay. Let's try this. Oh. I thought it was gone. Exactly like it, y'all. But I will say, I actually like theirs a little bit better because it's like a, a tangier taste. It's like, I'm not, not tangy, but it's sweeter. It's like a sweeter taste to it. I give these like an eight. Compared to ours, a 10. Excuse me for the spitting. Mm-hmm. Alright. Let's try this little bottle cap. Let's try let's try something we haven't tried. I'm sure this is gonna taste like our team. So what are these little things? We have a lot of these. Oh, these are big potatoes, basically. Big potatoes. I guess different corn corn. This one is corn. Is this, is this, are these any different? Different flavors and stuff? <clears throat> mm -mm, I don't like that. Now that I taste it a little bit, it it don't taste as bad, but it definitely tastes like corn, like just a big ass corn seed. Yeah, I think I want to try them more of those. Um, and then let's see what are in these two little things right here. I'm curious. I'm sure you guys might be too. These are gonna be our last two. It has a cake ball on it. I wonder if this one's hot. Let's try this first. Okay. 
It's green. It's like a lime green. Like an eight and a half. Eight and a half. Huh. No, this is a ten. This is gum. I love the flavor when it, when it starts off and then the fact that it's tight when it's chewing on it. These are little gummies. Little gum. Excuse for excuse the noise in the background, you guys. And then this might be hot, like. Cause it even has this one, this little one right here, has a paper that comes in this one, so. You might need to read it. What does it say? Can you see it? What does it say? Good gum, good gum. Okay. They wouldn't put anything in there to kill me. Okay, here we go, y'all. It kind of tastes like the first candy I tasted. Like, it kind of tastes like these. Mm -hmm. I ain't tried it all. <clears throat> One verse three. I think it is supposed to be something spicy. Like, you know, you're supposed to, you're supposed to burst each other on this little thing right here. But anyways, <clears throat> so um, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure that you do like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I hope you guys definitely enjoyed me trying some of these good good candies um some better than others but you know anyway so they weren't as bad as i thought they were um the other things that we do have over here if y'all would like to see me dig into these just let me know but those are probably gonna be the most ugly faces right there <laughs> So, um, like I said, make sure that you guys like, comment, share, subscribe. And until next time, my crowns and tiaras, my check one, two, one, two, till a ball hit a bitch with a motherfucking. So, over and out. <laughs>